There's your temps. I hope you can see that okay. Look at that. Man, did that thing cool off fast. Look at that. That didn't take any time at all. We're already down to 45.5, 7.6 Celsius. Awesome, totally cool. Let me just show you the main parts of this before we get started. We got the inlet, which doubles as an air filter. We got the outlet, which there's the cooling radiator underneath. Then we got the tubing, the blower motor, and some more tubing, along with a pump in the bottom. See if I can get a shot of the actual temp of some of this stuff in here. Yeah, check that out. That's why we're getting 35 degree air, because the ice right now is reading 21. By the way, the off-grid options for this would be straight to a 12-volt solar panel, straight to a 12-volt deep cycle battery, or you could just plug it straight into your car's 12-volt power socket. Here's the homemade patch cord that I use if I'm going to go to a solar panel or a battery. 
It's just some old extension cord wire and a little 12 volt socket. You can pick that up at an auto parts store for like four or five bucks. Then you just plug it in there and hook the end of the wires to either your solar panel or your battery. There's the layout right there. Positive to positive, negative to negative, and then the positives, the center, and the negatives, the outside part of the socket. As far as the solar panel goes, just make sure it's 12 volts and it puts out at least 3 amps. Actually, I'd go with maybe one that puts out closer to 4 or 5 or 6 amps, say a 100 watt solar panel, just to cover it so you don't have to like adjust it to the sun every 15 minutes to get full power. this on then we'll just drop on and center the radiator about like that and I'll fasten it down Then I cut the filter piece. The easiest way to do that is just take the whole saw as a guide, put it down, and cut around it with scissors. Then it'll fit right in. Alright, and finally, I just drilled a 3 16 inch hole there for the pump wire and then twisted the positives and negatives together. And then I'll just add a 12 volt plug and we're good to go. It's all set. Listen to that. Just the sound of air rushing through there. No weird sounds. Use the Velcro on the bottom. It totally quiets it down. This keeps it quiet and muffles the sound. That's the main part. The fan is back here. And all you hear is the air coming out of here. Beautiful. Oh yeah. That's totally awesome.
you can see those fins nice tight fins that allows for great cooling mid 40s 6.8 celsius By the way, you can attach the radiator in a lot of ways. I'm going to use just Velcro strips here, 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 and here so I can remove it if I need to. Probably won't need to, but if you need to. Or you can use construction adhesive or caulk, even bath and kitchen caulk, things like that. That should be good. You can also run it in your car if you want to. These little power sockets are usually rated to 15 amps. The unit itself again only takes three, so you could comfortably run probably four of those units if you wanted to. But just put it on the side seat or in the back and you're good to go. By the way, if you want to, you can put a full length dryer hose on the front and then that's a full length or 18 inches compacted. But if you expand it to its full length, they can go as far as eight feet. So you could really snake this where you wanted to go. Another option is to buy like a Y splitter on here. There's so much cold air that comes out of here, you could have half going one way and half the other if you wanted to.